what did you consider high levels of prolactin and progesterone in men? Two things with regards to prolactin. First off, again, it is transient, so it does elevate immediately after orgasm or after ejaculation, which is why you'll notice most guys lose their erection immediately after ejaculation, your prolactin spikes. Uh, we often tell guys when you do go for blood work, no ejaculation for 72 hours so that we can get an accurate reading and not a false positive. If you are essentially over... I know the labs are going to tell you about 15 or 17 on some of them. If you're over 25 or over 22, it's something to kind of monitor and look at. Um, but again, this is a number. It, I would like to see the symptoms. I mean, I've seen guys at 25 and they have no symptoms and they feel great. If you are suffering from erectile dysfunction or inability to maintain an erection or lack of firmness, and you're constantly hovering in the 20s, then we have to do two things. First, we have to diagnose why your prolactin is elevated. It could be hormonal, it could be something else. And then secondly, there are ways to intervene. And usually it is with a medication class known as dopamine agonists. And cabergoline is one that comes to mind. It's extremely powerful. A quarter of a milligram a week really goes a long way. Elevates dopamine, lowers prolactin, and has a benefit of sexual performance where it eliminates the refractory period. So very susceptible to abuse because guys tend to like the effects of it. Uh, so you gotta be careful. It can have implications on the heart if used long-term at higher doses, but that is one possibility. There are ways to lower prolactin with medication if needed. Um, very rarely would I see it. Usually you'll find elevated prolactin in guys that have a pituitary, uh, benign pituitary adenoma, which is a little tumor on the pituitary. Uh, you get an MRI once a year, every other year, just to make sure it doesn't change. Um, but that can cause some issues. And that usually is a concern also for low T. So as guys age, they usually do develop some sort of a pituitary tumor. And um, that will lead to low T as prolactin shoots up and, and crushes the other uh, gonadotropins. Thank you.